something different today, not about computers, but I guess you could say tech related anyway. It's a um, tutorial on how to replace front wing on C4 generation Audi A6 or Audi C4 100. Probably uh, the procedures are very similar. So you can do this at home, obviously you don't need any special tools, but you do have to remove the wheel, so you have to have a jack. You probably do have it, obviously. You shouldn't be r driving around without it. <laughs> you have to have a jack and, uh, well, a good Phillips screwdriver, uh, some uh, basic, you know, basic tool set you that anyone should have and uh, the procedures are you have to first remove the wheel once you've done it you have access to a bunch of Phillips uh, Phillips screws inside the wheel arch that hold the uh, plastic plastic splash protection uh, shield splash shield or underwing uh, whatever it's called and uh, it's holding by uh, Phillips screws a bunch of Phillips screws and uh, two um, interesting rubber um, hex nuts but since it's a plastic part it will come off it will not be uh, bound and these screws won't bind badly even though they will look horrible because they'll be all covered like in my case they'll be all covered in salt and uh, rust but yeah, it's plastic, you will get those screws out. Once you remove, once you remove that shield, then uh, you can start to remove the, the actual wing. So, okay, there's, there's the wing. The first thing I did was uh, start from the left side. Uh, you have to remove uh, trim, trim piece here then you get access to two screws on the bat bottom uh, this right one was a bitch absolute bitch to remove i had to cut uh, a notch in it and bang it with a hammer and wd-40 and uh, it wasn't fun uh, there is one here midway to uh, uh, in the like in the middle of the wing vertically and there's one in the corner here so one two three four to get to this you have to remove uh, a plastic uh, inset a plastic panel that is uh, glued on actually uh, where is it the glue yeah, there's there's some glue. You have to remove this uh, panel to get access to this middle screw on the left side. Okay, so oh, next, obviously you have a a row a row of screws here on the top. They are all very nice. They are I think they are uh, hex heads. They are not the stupid Phillips. They'll come off easily. Uh, on the right side, uh, well, there are two screws here that I undid, but you have a choice. You can either do these two, or you can do, or you can do these three. But uh, these three usually are more rusted, so you can do these two and. Later, when you remove the wing, if your replacement doesn't come with this part, you can add this part, uh, drill those screws or do whatever, or if your replacement comes with this piece attached, which it probably will, because the whoever <laughs> removed the replacement probably couldn't undo these either, then you just replace it together with this part. And once you undo these two and that and that and these two you have to remove the front bumper 
to do that you first remove uh, these side grills inside the bumper you just uh, pick them up by uh, by the inner side and then slide them out uh, these side side panel things uh, the bumper is held on by only two long uh, bolts nothing else uh, two long bolts and uh, brackets on the of course I <laughs> and the brackets like this uh, uh, on the sides Okay, yeah, and uh, yeah, once you get these side grills out, you have access to these uh, these bolts here uh, that are holding the uh, the metal crash structure of the bumper to the crash shock absorbers, and then you have to pull the bumper. Uh, towards you pull the bumper of the car and it's um, sucks <laughs> yeah it feels like you're gonna break something but uh, eventually yeah I, I, I got it off mm. now okay you also have to remove the light but that's easy you have uh, come on can you focus you have four um, four uh, Phillips screws and that's just all nothing else but the phone decided that it doesn't want to doesn't want to focus okay you have four uh, four Phillips to remove the light it comes out readily disconnect and then you have one last uh, bolt on the corner here, which thankfully is not another dreaded <laughs> Phillips, but it's a hex head. And once you, yeah, once you do all this, the ring will come off easily without any <laughs> scratching and damaging anything else. And um, yeah, I'll just for fun show you how my <laughs> my old wing looks like so i don't think you have seen anyone driving around with a front wing like quite like this with a hole this big but that's what i did for a while and uh, yeah once the rust gets in this part yeah it eats it very very quickly and one thing I should note uh, a plus side for doing this yourself is that you if you have an old car like this you really need to remove this underwing panel uh, once in a while anyway just to check uh, just to clean everything and to check for rust because one of the things that will happen with this particular car is the uh, the upper shock mount uh, starts to rust and uh, the rust is already uh, you may or may not see probably don't see a lot because it doesn't want to focus at all but the rust is already attacking it quite badly all around so I have to just scrape it and paint it with some uh, uh, rust uh, converter and uh, on the inside there's almost almost a hole so uh, if you do this yourself you have the time to really pay attention to everything and to clean clean things up and um, paint and um, and do these things that a garage will never ever 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 do unless you pay the cost the cost of the car so <laughs> on these old cars that's that's the that's the part of the experience is that you have to <laughs> waste your time with rusty garbage and, and um, yeah it's part of the experience but you know that's the, that's the times that we live in 
um, thanks for the globalization and uh, quantitative easing and uh, these insane policies and the global job markets and whatever and yeah that's the situation where sound like me an engineer with a college degree is wasting his time ranging on 25 year old rusty car <laughs> well to be honest it's not so much that i would be poor but it's just, it's a, a hobby and I cannot stand throwing out things that can be still replaced. And uh, yeah, quite like this car. Don't want to scrap it just yet, but yeah, it doesn't have that much left. Okay, thanks for, thanks for your watch, thanks for your attention. And I'll see you, maybe, maybe see you in the next video, which will almost certainly not be automotive. But back to electronics. <laughs>